Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to our afternoon Bitcoin price update and also in this video we're gonna select our winner of the weekly $10 worth of Bitcoin giveaway. So stay tuned here till the end because we're gonna select the winner of this week's $10 worth of Bitcoin at the end of the video. So first we're gonna do a little Bitcoin price TA. You can see that after Bitcoin lost here this $9,300 support, currently we are forming this potential falling channel here which could break out here to the upside to retest the new resistance. So far I'm not in a trade here on Bityard, but I'm gonna play here this potential retest of $9,300 because it looks like that we are quite oversold currently and we could see here a little breather to the upside. So let's analyze here quickly the lower time frames. Here in the one hour you can see that the RSI after being oversold is currently having a breather here to the upside and the potential retest of the 50 level in the RSI is coming up. And that's why I think also here in the four hour time frame, the RSI could see here potential 50 level RSI retest coming up pretty soon. And that would mean that we could go towards here the new resistance of around 9,260 to $9,300 to test here the previous support which now could be acting as a resistance. Because I'm still um, I'm convinced that we could see here a major dump towards the 200 daily moving average which is at the bottom of this bigger falling wedge that we are in currently which is now perfect, perfectly lining up here at around $8,450. So I still think we could head towards this price level also because the RSI just started to trade below the 50 level. The thing is that uh, we already had yesterday and today uh, quite uh, moves here to the downside and I think most likely uh, we will see a little breather here and a possible retest also of the 20 daily moving average which is also coinciding with our resistance now up here at around 9000 255 dollars so the question is now do you want to play long and you are gonna hope for a potential breakout from this resistance or for a retest of this resistance or are you looking to open up a short position and currently I think it is pretty wise if you think that we could go that low to open up a short position even though we are in the lower time frames quite oversold so hello Bento Bento, nice to have you here in the live stream and on our afternoon Bitcoin price update. And uh, yeah, good luck to you for the $10 worth of Bitcoin. We're gonna select the winner at the end of the video. So stay tuned till the end. And uh, yeah, now is the big questions. Uh, are we, should we uh, try to long it right now or start to look for a short opportunity because I still think we could see here a potential breakout to the upside and the retest of the target here of this potential falling wedge here on the BitDR chart and uh, yeah it would be around 9260 to 9300 dollar and since we are currently uh, quite oversold in the lower time frames I potentially gonna open here a small long position just for the case that we could um, go and test this 9260 area up here which I think could happen today or maybe during the weekend because uh, uh, we're gonna close this uh, week today also in the traditional market so we're gonna have now the weekend off and Bitcoin is at its own and then usually we see always big moves and then usually uh, we turn back to where we closed on Friday uh, on Monday and then potentially also create a new CME gap. Shout out to you as Wolfie, nice to have you back here in the live stream. So also you stay tuned till the end till we're gonna select the winner of our sponsored video by Bityard and they offering this nice $10 worth of Bitcoin as a giveaway. So shout out to all the stuff over there on Bityard and uh, yeah now let's decide if we should take a long or a short uh, right now because I still think there is the chance that we will go up here to retest this uh, area and I also uh, like 
more to open up longs than shorts even though at the moment it looks like that it would be better to short than long because it looks like that we're gonna um, continue to create these uh, lower highs and uh, we have higher lows which is good uh, so as long as we are not taking out these lows that we had here and the last couple of dumps here we should be still on our way to potentially break out from this bigger um, falling wedge here to the upside and uh, yes weekend it's always play time that is true that's why usually I don't like to keep up a trade um, during uh, the weekend and also not trade during the weekend uh, unless we're really gonna have a big pump or dump and then very often we're gonna have these uh, big future gaps on Monday and then this is what I like to trade usually always when you have fresh new CME gaps because even if they don't get uh, filled immediately if you use a stop loss then at least uh, your losses will uh, be limited so even if it goes into the wrong direction your losses will be limited and that's why I suggest always to use a stop loss but very often the CME gaps gets uh, filled immediately and that's why the chance is very high that you can do a successful trade with it and uh, yeah since we are now oversold here in the one hour and four hour time frame and I think we could have here a retest here of this 9250 let's do a small risky $200 trade so I I just I'm just gonna use here uh, $10 with 20x leverage which is worth uh, $200 and uh, let's go uh, long for now uh, I could also swap it over later into a short position as soon as we reach our target which is uh, up here at around 9270 somewhere around there so uh, I think uh, it is wise in case that this is your target then to swap it over or at least to close uh, the trade. Uh, yes, you're right. There is a one future gap uh, at 11,800 if I'm not wrong that is still not filled yet We can also go over to have a look here on the CME chart because that gap you can see also in the bigger time frames uh, But uh, le let's stay quickly here in the four hour uh, If the chart is loading, let's refresh it because it's quite some time since we had this uh, future gap there and um, it happened during the pump of um, 14,000 when we created that gap and since then we never came up there there was a time when we thought uh, we will most likely um, go immediately back up to close it uh, wait I'm in the wrong chart here but um, so far it didn't get uh, closed so yeah that gap up here this one is the one uh, you mean yes you can also use it in the daily time frame uh, you can also see it but uh, here in the four hour you can see really in detail that we still have this gap opened uh, uh, we closed at that day here at around 11,990 and uh, the next day we opened not the next day the, on Monday then we opened again at the $11,700 so let's say here in this rate this range here this gap here between uh, 12 to $11,700 or down here better at $11,600 is uh, still here to get filled and that's why I still think we will have uh, the next bull run pretty soon and then also close this gap as long as this gap is opened um, is actually quite bullish because that could indicate that sooner or later doesn't matter how low we will go we're gonna go to fill that gap as well and that's why I'm telling you in case that we're really gonna have a potential drop towards seven thousand to six thousand five hundred dollar in the worst case um, if you would buy at those price levels and we will go later to fill this gap here you will already have doubled your money but once we're gonna reach these levels up here I think we will also go higher so I wouldn't take profits here when we tested here this fourteen thousand dollar up here at that time I I plan to take profits here in case that we would go up again but we never went there to close this uh, gap and yeah I think a lot of people because of this gap also didn't take out profits or didn't took more profits out after this double um, after this lower high that we had over here and that's why I still think a lot of people are watching at this gap as well and that's why I'm still pretty confident that also here on the CMEs we will have a, a very big pump uh, pretty soon we we are still on our way we did we are creating a higher lows which is uh, bullish here on the CMEs and also on the other charts 
and um, as, as long as we're not creating a lower a lows here in the bigger time frames we should be okay uh, even though I think this lows that we had here recently uh, we, it is still in the cards that we could take them out here if we're gonna see here this drop towards the 200 daily moving average and that's why I think maybe to open up a short position to write it down um, could be an option but since I like more to long than short um, to be long than short I prefer to wait for a possible dump buy some more bi uh, cheaper bitcoins uh, start to scaling my longs and then write it up this is what I prefer because if you go short at the moment for sure you will get funding rates but if the price is starting to head again towards 10k and potentially also break it you will need to close it in a big loss uh, or you're using just a very tight stop loss somewhere here uh, at around $9,300 and uh, yeah you can also see that the RSI just started to trade here below the 50 so in theory we had a, we have a lot of room left to the downside but uh, nonetheless even though the momentum is now shifted to the downside and it looks like that we could be forming here um, a similar pattern like we had yesterday here consolidation and then the next leg down um, I think there is a high chance that from here on we could go up here to retest the new uh, resistance and then have the rejection here and um, yeah let's uh, let's wait to open up a long position uh, once we're gonna hit uh, uh, this target down here at the 200 daily moving average at around uh, 8500 and um, otherwise uh, wait here for a breakout of uh, 9300 dollar and also as soon as we're starting to build up support here then maybe open up a long position but within this range currently i would prefer to open up a short position um, yeah so now the question is what should we do over here let's do a $200 trade here with $10 200x 20x leverage I'm sorry uh, with short and let's not go market let's uh, put here in our target which is approximately at around 9250 so let's say um, here if the price is not going that high here on the bit yard let's enter it here over at uh, 9240 with only ten dollars because here on the bit yard you can trade with tether so you don't have to risk and um and trade with your crypto so if you have some uh, tether on the sideline somewhere and you want to do some high leverage trades here on uh, bit yard this is the thing uh, because here you can also get a lot of uh, a pony based on your trading volume which is very easily reached here because um uh, you can trade uh, from uh, 20x up to 100x here Bitcoin for example and uh, you can see that here you can get a lot of uh, bony uh, the last one over here once you're gonna reach here 1 million in trading volume uh, totally then uh, you will get this 188 tether in cash so you can immediately withdraw it or buy Bitcoin or whatever you want with that money and also make sure every day to tune in here to claim your free um, a tether here that you can claim every day here if you're tuning in into the website just go here to where it says daily mining it's not really a mining program but uh, when you click here on mining it collects all these little coins and it converts into the tether and then you can uh, use it to trade or withdraw it all right and uh, yeah let's set in here this uh, short let's click here on sell and here on BTR you always have to take up um, to set a take profit and a stop loss always you have to set it later you can change it also once you're in the trade um, but this is um, especially for beginner a good thing because like this you automatically will take profits once the price uh, is reaching uh, your target so let's lay, leave it here at 500 percent and the stop loss at the half that is okay so let's confirm and enter this uh, limit order in case that we're gonna have here a push to the upside retest the resistance and get rejected here my order will get executed so let's click here on sell and confirm all right if the price is going up there it will uh, get executed so let's see if this is gonna play out or not but this is uh, my expectations for the next couple of hours and also for the next couple of days um, to see if we gonna test here this level down here at 8500 which I think will be a very good opportunity if you look for a long position or if you still want to buy some cheaper bitcoins also at this price level here at around 9000 for the long term is okay but if you want cheaper cheaper is always good then maybe wait till we're gonna 
go here towards $8,500. And now, my friends, let's select the winner. Let's select the winner of um, our $10 worth of Bitcoin that we do every week thanks to BitYard, thanks to the staff of uh, BitYard. Uh, we can do this uh, weekly right now. All right, so you can see that we could have potentially a breakout uh, with the ne within the next couple of hours here to the upside. Let's wait and see. Uh, maybe my order will get executed. Let's see. Um, but yeah, let's go now to the uh, subscription video. Um, yeah, by the way, next Monday, I'm gonna do the next subscription video for next week's uh, $10 Bitcoin giveaway. So make sure to tune in um, and also subscribe here on Twitch. And of course, also on the YouTube channel, Alessandro the Crypto. Uh, we do all the daily TA videos over there. And uh, of course, also the YouTube video is relevant uh, for the subscription. So on the YouTube video, you have to comment and put your Bitcoin address because we're going to select the winner always on the YouTube video where it says subscription video of the actual week. So last time we had, I think, over uh, 200 comments or something. Uh, yes, uh, let's see here because the random picker is cutting out the duplicated users. So it doesn't uh, help if you create multiple accounts on YouTube and uh, uh, participate here. It doesn't help because here this one is uh, um, filtering uh, duplicated users, uh, I think based on the IP or something. Anyway, now let's select the winner. Let's copy here first the subscription video and let's put it here and see how many comments uh, we have and it's uh, 189 comments thank you very much my friends for the participation and now let's see who is the lucky winner of this giveaway and the lucky winner is Aristea Hilliard congratulations uh, you are the lucky winner of $10 worth of uh, Bitcoin let's see what the user and the lucky winner have written easily one of my favorite channels um, cheers guys great content as usual upwards and onwards thank you very much for your nice words it was a pleasure for me to read it and i'm very happy that you have uh, won now the giveaway all right i copied now your bitcoin address now let's open up the the giveaway wallet um let's go here on send let's double check uh, that the address is correct it should be because here on the exodus uh, wallet it always tells you if it's a valid bitcoin address or not like this uh, usually you do less um, mistakes all right uh where is it here should be okay looks good all right so you're the lucky winner of this ten dollar worth of a bitcoin uh, I would like also to put here a message, but it looks like you cannot. So I will just send it like that. All right. Send. Uh, yes. All right. Have fun with this $10 worth of Bitcoin. I hope you will do um, good with it. Uh, the best, of course, is always if you hodl it. But otherwise, you can, of course, also uh, use it somewhere to trade with. All right. For example, uh, on a BitYard. So congratulations again and uh, yeah, for all the others that didn't win uh, the giveaway, make sure to subscribe here on Twitch and also on the YouTube channel Alessandro the Crypto. We do every week $10 worth of Bitcoin giveaways here sponsored by BitYard and also we're gonna do every day uh, TAs uh, on the Bitcoin price, on some altcoins, sometimes also the traditional markets uh, like the S&P 500 and uh, all the links that you need uh, to sign up for example over on BitYard you find down below here in the video description of the Twitch video and also on the YouTube video you find also all the other channels that I have this one here on Twitch, YouTube, Discord, our free Discord trading chat. If you have Discord, you're very welcome to join our free Discord trading chat. We have a great community. Shout out to all the people over there. And uh, yeah, 
congratulations again at the, to the winner and uh, maybe you will have um, also luck next time who knows and for all the ones that uh, didn't win uh, now uh, maybe on the next time uh, you will win so make sure to participate on every giveaway and next to this weekly giveaway we also do every 500 subscribers on YouTube a $50 Bitcoin giveaway and currently we have 1260 so around 240 left till we're gonna do the next big $50 worth of Bitcoin giveaway to say thank you to all the um, subscribers followers and uh, supporters of the channel all right guys so thank you very much for tuning back in and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye